Today, after journeying far and wide, we finally made it to the town of Interlaken. He was the rock of old, carved and faced. Interlaken is so called because it sits right between two lakes, Lake Briens and Lake Tun, which are connected by the river Aha that we saw yesterday. Interlaken is really good for backpackers. There's a bunch of backpacker friendly hostels, and there's also loads of companies that provide guided services in skydiving, uh, paragliding, canyoning, hang gliding, and skiing. Basically, lots of activities where you get to throw yourself off very high places. One of the main attractions is the Jungfrau, one of the main summits of the Bernese Alps. Together with the Agur and the Monk, the Jungfrau forms a massive wall overlooking the Bernese Oberland and is considered one of the most emblematic sites of the Swiss Alps. Along with the Alich Glacier to the south, the Jungfrau is part of the Jungfrau Alich Protected Area, which was declared a World Heritage Site in 2001. It's been told before, I'll tell it again How jealousy struck, and hate it gain To plunder once, once and for all This cherished pearl, till sorrow falls They stole in, and crept like Toffington just before we got to Interlaken. We were lucky enough to catch the Saturday market. To hold up a man, to choose in his hand between two grains of sand. How can we turn to violence and burn? Forget all we've learned to darkness. Castlington has been refurbished into a historical museum. It's about eight francs to get in if you're an adult and six for a child, I think. Oh my god, the steps until forever. Too pure to shine in this world of sight. I want you about stairs, bro. I told you, dog. Of laws and lies. There's something out there, love. Okay, now this is just getting patently ridiculous. Frozen drops of winter's rain. There above us, there is no doubt. Right, back up we go. The castle was built in 1190 by none other than Duke Berthold V of Zaringen. That guy really gets around. The view from the castle towers was absolutely astonishing. And there's also a telescope in one of them, but it costs a franc, which I feel is a bit cheeky. Especially since you already paid eight francs just to get up there. A bunch of people have uh, tagged their names and where they're from on the posts in the towers, but I didn't have a pen on me, so I couldn't join in.